Hi, I'm Jessica Croshaw. I'm a postdoctoral research associate at Oxford. I'm in the mathematical biology group, so I'm a mathematical biologist, and I look at diseases of the eye. So, diseases that lead to blindness primarily. I also am really interested in vascular development and looking at how um, the blood vessels in the eye grow and regress. My current primary aim is looking at how we can, what is currently the state of the art with drugs that get injected into the eye and where they could be better. So I use mathematical modeling to model how these drugs are eliminated from the eye, how quickly, what they do when they're in the eye, so we can understand how we can better improve these drugs. The primary problem we're looking at is uh, for the particular disease I look at that leads to blindness, you need a lot of injections into the eye and that's obviously not fun. So we want to reduce the number of injections, increase uh, the time the drug is in the eye. I love the challenge that maths presents. I love a puzzle. I love a complicated problem where I get to sit there and work on it. I particularly love coding and I love it when it goes wrong. I love debugging problems. I don't like it when the problem's too easy to solve. I'm Terry Lyons and I'm a mathematician and I've been a mathematician for nearly 50 years. I work in an area of mathematics called stochastic analysis. Stochastic analysis is a very rich topic. It's rigorous fundamental mathematics on the one hand, but it interacts with many different areas of application. I've been fundamentally interested in understanding how you relate and couple in a mathematical sense streams of noise or information and outcomes. In the last 10 years that has developed beyond what we used to call the theory of rough paths and is now very much about signatures and its relationship between data science and mathematics. Achieving high quality research really relies on people and actually people rely on funding and resource and I'm very fortunate at the moment that we're funded by two substantial projects, first of all an EPSRC project uh, called DataSig and secondly a, a project SIMDA funded by ITC. These sorts of projects are really essential to the development of the subject. Over my career I've been very fortunate for getting funding from the European community. All of these have been important, really important to building my subject area. I enjoy working with people, I enjoy thinking, I enjoy being original, and I enjoy challenging ideas. Mathematics embraces all of those, and I've really enjoyed my 50 years in the area. My name is Lena Gao. I am a postdoctoral researcher here in Oxford. My research is in artificial intelligence. I am trying to understand how to uh, how to make machine learning algorithms or artificial intelligence algorithms better at generalizing. Uh, so as humans, our remarkable, one of the remarkable abilities that we have is the ability to generalize. So which means that when we learn something well, we don't just learn to solve the same question. We learn some tools which we can then apply in a completely different situation to solve a similar question or even something that seems completely different. But uh, AI algorithms that exist today are actually ridiculously bad <laughs> at this. So for example, if you, uh, if you teach an algorithm to recognize speech, but you only show it people who speak, who are native English speakers, it's not going to be good at recognizing, uh, you know, what, say, German speakers who speak English. When I started my career, I was a pure mathematician. So I kind of switched to applied mathematics and research in machine learning because you know I was able to talk to various people in Oxford uh, yes I mean just the fact that you can collaborate with so many scientists in different areas is probably one of the most attractive features of being here my name is Zoe and I'm the outreach administrator for maths at Oxford we want to widen participation so we want to get people to study maths at higher education. Uh, so we uh, run a number of events um, from, let's say, January onwards. Uh, this year, we've already run a number of successful events, including uh, It All Adds Up, which is our event for 
female identifying uh, and uh, non-binary students. Uh, we invite students from all over the country um, and they come here for a three-day conference which is filled with maths. Um, an event that we have coming up is our maths festival. Uh, that's a uh, public engagement event that we run both in this building and in a shopping centre in Oxford and we want to target um, maybe families who have children uh, maybe from more disadvantaged backgrounds and who there might be some barriers uh, in how you know they would get to learn more about maths and we want to try and start that off as early as we can and get them excited about the subject. I've always loved working with young kids. Um, I think they're really funny and they're really inspiring about, you know, they're very honest about why they would love a subject. Um, I really obviously enjoy widening participation to university and getting more people excited, I think, in a subject that's just really important.